Hello guys and girls, I'm still on my quest to find affordable, affordable double combination square that would be precise. So one thing I got is this $16.150 mil roughly from big box store. It's nice and I picked uh, over several of those in the store to find more or less the square one. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's not too bad. No, yeah, you can see the gap now. Yeah, but it's for $16, it was a good start, but I thought, you know, what happens if I can spend some more, maybe like $50 and see if it gets better. And I found this nice uh, all iron uh, double squares from eye gauging. The big one cost 40 bucks and the set of two was 50. So I thought for $10, it will be a nice toy. A nice toy. Now, uh, this thing uh, is the only product that uh, specifies the squareness tolerance, which is 1.5 thousandths of an inch uh, or 37 microns. 37 microns is should be pretty good. I mean, those guys from Gross we reviewed last time are 72 microns, which is twice as bad. So we'll see if these leaves to the promise uh, and uh, the thing is this is the only product that actually publishes that because even those from Starit on the website and manuals I didn't find any any specification on the tolerance so yeah kudos for gauging for specifying those and let's see if it holds the promise comes in a nice box sturdy plastic nothing fancy but purely usable two squares inside foam padded Let's put them out. Yeah, this is not an unboxing video. Anyhow, let's start with the big one. Uh, let's fetch out the ruler. The ruler um, with the advertised as metric uh, on the website of the seller. And I can see the half metric. And the half metric is only half usable to me, uh, particularly considering the part that I don't like half mil scale. So it's very hard for me to actually when I want to when I want to mark 12 mil, I need to really look sharp and focus my eyes to to distinguish between you know 12 and 11.5 or 12.5. So yeah, I'd rather have just mils all around, whole mils all around, no half mils. Anyhow, and the satin finish is very nice to touch, but very hard on my eyes. So yeah, you can see that it's the camera actually picks it up much better than my eyes. But just to give you a comparison to the Empire one, you can see the contrast difference once it focuses. Yeah, you can see how the Empire ones are much easier to read. Let's compare it to the whole meals. Yeah, so it's much easier to read, particularly if you angle it a bit. Empire is still readable. Engaging, not too much. And under this angle, it get really worse. So if this wasn't bad enough, if you look at the small one, the small one is really a disaster in that regard. Yeah. You can see it full of scratches and at this angle, it's really hard, really hard next to unusable to see. Yeah, really bad. I mean, I tried to work this thing outside on an overcast day. And this one, the small one, was just no go. I just can't read the scale. So for me, yeah, it's, it's a toy. It's a nice toy. It's kind of well made, cast iron, polished, ground. Yeah, but this, the the ruler is not usable. Another thing about the ruler, this is, it's advertised as one fifty mil, but it's actually six inch, not one fifty. Same problem, by the way, with all combination squares. I have yet found any combination square which advertises itself as 150 and it's actually 150 and not 152.4 which is what six inch are uh, except for Starit. The one from Starit is on the website looks they are exactly 150 millimeters. Why is it important for me? So let's try to put it back together. Yeah is when you measure 50 mil from here right so and I put it against uh, surface yeah I want to be able to mark it like something from this side as well and even if it was millimeters and not inches 
I still can pick it up so I can demo it on this, probably on this one because it will be easier to see it since it's metric. So you can, you can use this one for measuring, but you can't use this one because it starts from not the whole inch, not the whole mil even, it starts from, yeah, like quarter mil, somewhere in between. Yeah, so it's a bummer. It's less of the problem with the 12 inch ones because those that advertised as 12 inch, they also, uh, sorry, those that are advertised as 300 mils, they're 12 inch and not 300 mils. Yeah, they just create like scale, the scale properly. So they end on 305 mil, which is uh, almost, almost, almost 12 inch. So yeah, sorry, 12 inches actually 305 minus two tenths of the mil. So it's that's why it works. So you take it, you mark 90 mil, and here it here it ends on the whole mil as well. So anyhow, uh, I wasn't surprised, but rather kind of disappointed that they couldn't do you know a separate line of rulers that are just metric like purely metric i guess they're competing on a u.s market with start and and that's the target market they they don't care about the rest of the world that doesn't use metric uh, imperial system uh, anyhow th my last complaint about the ruler is that on its end it's a bit overground So when you look here, it's maybe even this out roller. If you look at it here, focus please. Yes. You see the last mill is kind of kind of shaved off. So if you mark things here or here, you can make a half a mil difference. So it's a bit of a joke in a way. Anyhow, look at the stock itself. The stock itself nice to touch uh, ground well it's 30 meters wide so if this thing was 150 yeah, 150 total uh, you should put if you could have put it on 60 mil and it would be purely symmetric on both sides but it's not uh, anyhow um, uh, the screw is here, it's, it, it binds easily. I had to remove it, clean all the rust on the screw and the nut, then apply some grease and now it's too bad. Sorry, not too bad. But still, when you slide it, it creates that pleasant sound. I think you really feel that things are grinding and it's a bit of binding. When you lock it, you can lock it just a bit, but it still has a free play, so I have to kind of play and lock, play and lock until you lock it fully. Now it's fully locked, but then to unlock you have to really <coughs> work it out. Yeah, particularly with the small one. Small one was binding so easily, I had to really like clean it thoroughly. And still the sound. Quick compare to the Empire one. The nut is very smooth, locks smoothly, and the sliding is just silent and silky. You hear that. Yeah, that's nice. And so, to wrap it up, let's compare the squareness, because after all, that's all these guys should do in their life, is to be square. Remove the dust, fetch our trusty squares from the same company. Here is the gap, see? Quite a gap for five, uh, for 150 minus 30, for 120 lengths of the inner blade, in the side of the blade, it's, it's, it's notable. Let's turn it around. Yeah, you can see it already. It gets much more pronounced on the other side, so. 
yeah, both on the inner side. So yeah, it's like not square. You can see it's off on the top side, on the outside, and off on the inside, on the bottom, sorry, of the inside. Yeah. Yeah, again, quite comparable to my empire thing. Yeah. Same thing about the small one. Yeah, though the ruler itself makes it already unusable tool, but just out of curiosity. Let's do a quick squareness check. Yeah, here the gap. Yes, so to wrap it up, um, I'm quite disappointed. I had a big hopes for this thing because yeah, they were all you know cast iron heads, and I was really impressed with the um engineering angles before so i thought yeah finally found a good brand that you know makes good stuff and it doesn't cost you arm and leg and with uh, these double squares that's not the case unfortunately so they're not totally off but they're not much better in squareness than the chipper tool and on the other hand the chipper tool has a better ruler for me it's all metric uh, it's all whole meals and and it's actually it doesn't have that overground edges on the side that makes your things makes your markings different whether you use inner or outer edge and they lock in much nicely this the sliding is much more pleasant so yeah i mean this is a nicer tool for me and both nice and more useful uh, than this one unfortunately so as much as I would love those, I don't see myself using them. In fact, I own them for several weeks and they've stayed in the box. So in that box, they're unfortunately going back to the store. Thanks for watching.